welcome back to my channel. It's me, Rebecca, Crafting Journey with Rebecca. Today is Sunday. Uh, day, oh my gosh, this is April 20, what day is this? 26th. So, gosh, we started this um, craziness on March 15th, so five weeks. Oh my gosh. What are we going to tell our kids and our grandkids and our great grandkids and about what we were doing during 2020? Heaven and Earth Design, yay! I wanted to show you guys, I unburied my Heaven and Earth Design that I started January 1st. Oh, I laid that first diamond down January 1st. This is all I managed to do. <laughs> I did some of this this morning. It's going much faster now that I've I've got the pattern keeper figured out. I've got my system figured out. I had to build a board to put this on. I actually built this. I went to Lowe's and the guy helped me build it. This is the pro this is the pattern. It's not the whole pattern. It's just the front page because it patterns 49 pages. So this is the design. It's called Off to the Ball by Hannah Lynn. It's Heaven and Earth Designs. 40 something pages. 88 colors. It's going to be massive. Um, yeah. So, I'll finish it one of these days. But I wanted to kind of give you the feel for what I'm doing here. I'm going to just give you a little tour of what's going on in the craft room. First of all, um, somebody asked me the other day if I could, they could get a craft room tour. Well, here you go. This is where I've got the Heaven and Earth Design thing set up. Um, over here, you can see my dinosaur, the window, the rest of the craft room. All right, let me just show you the craft room here. So over here in the corner, I've got my TV. I can't turn the darn thing on because I don't know what I did with the remote control. It's in here somewhere, in this craft room somewhere. You can see this mess over here. Um, Crashly said I should do this while it's still messy. I need to, you know, fix all of this up, <laughs> clean it up. It's a mess. So over here, uh, there, so I've got some paintings going on. There's some paintings. That's a partial that I did from TSA. That image is available, um, pretty widely available. It's just a partial. And then I did last year this Alice in Wonderland. I love that image. That's a Manzi Manzano. I did the pillow right there. The pillow, the gnomes. I've got some latch hook stuff going on here. You can see all my yarn there. I'm going to step in front of the camera so we can continue going around the room here. So I've got all my yarn over there. My books, coloring books, things like that. I've got uh, some of my things that have been kitted up in various kits here on this makeshift shelf that I put together. And I'm praying that this shelf, which doesn't go with this shelf, you know, like things don't come caving down and fall. But anyway, let's hope, let's, let's hope. Now, <laughs> that's the door that the dogs come in and out uh, that you see during filming. There's where I sit during my regular filming. There is my get your big on. This is my drafting table where this is a fine soft day. I've got my light pad there. There's the picture that I'm working on from Liam Kelly, Dreamer Designs. Then I have this table over here that I do a lot of the work from. I have my regular computer, um, the desk underneath that desk is some of the kits that for what I'm working on right now. I'm doing this painting out of the lockables that's right down here. Um, so what else is over there? Oh, my box of tissues, my pens, my notebook. I keep notes of everything I do in that closet. More diamond paintings in that closet. I don't know if you can see it if I open it. Let's see. I don't know. What's no, you can't see it. Unless I move this. I don't know. Maybe we could move it. 
Any, in for a penny, in for a pound. Okay, there's the closet. More diamond paintings. They're all hung up. Uh, the larger ones are hung up here. And then I've got a basket full of uh, beads there, some Harbor Freights down at the bottom. The bottom is kind of jumped up, so that also needs to be cleaned up. So let's put this back. This chair is what I need to replace. I need to get a better chair that goes, a ch an office chair that comes a little higher because I'm tall. And then um, you, you missed the dog bed. So let's swing you around. Okay, down here, there's Jake. There's where Jake hangs out. Hi, Jake. Say hi, Jake. Hi. He hangs out there. There's a little bed and a big bed. Of course, most of the time he is in the big bed. The other dog does not like coming in here. I don't know why she doesn't want to come in here. But these containers over here, like I've got drills in one. I've got crochet stuff in one, cross stitch stuff in one. Um, and then on top, you see where I was sewing those masks. The sewing machine went under the hay table. So I'm going to swing it back around. Sorry. And we're back working on the hay. So this is the table for the hay. Behind here, I've got my storage system for the hay. Over here, I've got my iPad where I was chatting with people this morning. These things that I did and never wore. They're like little hair barrettes. Um, so yeah, this is the first half of the storage system. The second half is behind here. There's the table that I'm working off of. It's actually just a regular sewing table that you can get at Joann's. And there's the computer that I'm working the pattern keeper off of there. Right there. You can see it. I can explain all that too. Look. Oh, yes. Diamond Art Club. That is a Chuck Pinson that we all did last year for Christmas, I think. All right. So... Let's get started and I'll show you what I'm doing here with my heaven and earth design. But first of all, I've got like this stool that I've been sitting on. It's incredibly uncomfortable, but I'm gonna do a little work on this and I'll explain what I'm doing as I go along. So I finished this color, so I'm gonna put it away. And I try to do just one color at a time, otherwise it becomes way too confusing. And yes, I am using my pink Archer's Art Tray. Yay, pink Archer's Art Tray. And I'm using a pink pen today that I got from Tina Sparklers when I ordered my sparklers. So what I'm gonna do at this point is I am working on, let's see, I'm working on this square right here. And I want, I'm gonna bring the pattern keeper down here so I can show you. So I am working on this square here on the pattern keeper. I want to put in that, see that dark black circle there? I wanna do that particular um, diamond. So I'm going to go to the looking glass. There's three things up here. This is a marker. This is a, a like a navigation tool where you can move the pattern around. You can see on the pattern what I've already done. That kind of matches what you see on the canvas down there. Now we're I'm working up this way. So I'm going to magnify that if it's going to let me. Not right now. It's being stubborn. Hold on. There we go. All right. Just keep in mind that this particular app, Pattern Keeper, is still in beta. So, believe it or not. <laughs> so, I want to do these two, these two black dots here. So, I'm going to go to the magnifying glass in the middle. Press that. I'm going to press that black dot. And down in the left-hand corner, you probably can't see it, it's gonna give me a DMC number. 
and this DMT number is 820. So I need to go into my storage system and find 820. Um, and I only need a couple of those, so it went off of the pattern keeper. Hold on. Ah. So let me grab some 820 out of my storage system. Fascinating, isn't it, guys? <laughs> so I've got the 820. Everything in my storage system is marked 820, labeled. If you have questions about, you know, how I ordered this, how I've uh, put this together, please leave that in the comments and I will try to answer to the best of my ability. There is also a Facebook group for Heaven and Earth Design where you can convert it to diamond paintings. I don't remember what the name of the Facebook group is. I'm winded, uh, getting so much exercise, getting up and down. <laughs> so let me, uh, let me do these two dots. These two little black dots that are in this square. So one is, this is why it's super time consuming. One is right here, and one is right there. Okay, so I'm done with that color. So I am going to put that back. Before I forget, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to back to Pattern Keeper, and I will go to, oh, hold on, I'm going back to Pattern Keeper, now I'm going down to the third tab, which looks like a little marker, um, and I'm going to click on those two black dots. Sure I am, come on, there and there. They're done. That, that puts like a blue ring around those two things. I click clear, check mark, and it takes them off the pattern. So I don't have to worry about those anymore. Now I'm going to do this. Um, let's do the eight. All right, we got to go to the magnifying glass. Press eight. That's 796. DMC, 796. So let's go find that. DMC 796. Like how many different shades of blue can we possibly come out with here? So, all right, we'll put a few of those in there. And let's do 796 on the square. Where are we here? And it's all counted, guys. It's like doing counted cross-stitch. So you really have to, because uh, you, you really have to be careful with your counting. Um, it's exactly like counted cross-stitch. I mean, it, it's a cross-stitch pattern. And this down here is a blank canvas that you can order. Um, I also I actually ordered it from Australia, and I will put down in the description where I ordered this canvas from, and uh, where I ordered the diamonds from. I ordered them from the same place, so I need this last eight, which is oh, I don't have a good view of that. One, two, three, seven. Okay. The third one. One, two, three, and two. Those right there. Oh my goodness. Then if I come across, there's some in this other square. There's one here and one right there. I'm going to go ahead and do it in the next square over since they're right there. One and one. Okay. So I have finished those four. I'm going to put the diamonds back. Put them back in my storage system. So it, it, it is very tedious, this project. So this is why I haven't worked on it in a while. 
I've been sick all week, so I'm feeling better. So look what I'm putting my energy into. So now I'm going to go back to the pattern. Um, now, I don't bring the computer down every time. I'm bringing the computer down to show you guys. So I just finished the eight that are here in the pattern on both of these squares. So I'm going to go up to the marker that's here. And I'm going to, I just go over them with my, it's only going to highlight the eight because it knows that's what I was working on, the eights. So I just highlighted all of those eights. I press clear. And now I'm going to go back to the magnifying glass. And I want to do this target type symbol here because it's in this square, it's in this square. I'm not doing this wavy one up here because for some reason, I didn't get those drills. 311, I don't have any 311. I need to order them. Um, so see what happened when I press that? If you press the, the diamond, it'll come up. So I wanna press the target. Now all the target ones came up there. Now go over to mark. So I'm gonna put that up there. That is 520. So we need to get the 520s. I'm hoping that's a different color. I'm tired of working on blue. Oh, 520 is green. Woohoo! All right, wait, so we get to do a little green here. 520. There, see? All right. Now, you can use the same app for cross stitch if you like. It's only, um, you can only do this app on an Android. There is another app called Goodreader that you can use on your iPad. But um, since I have this spare computer, I decided I wanted to try out the pattern for here. So now I wanna do all the ones that are green in these two squares here. So it looks like this should be pretty easy. I can multi-place this. One, two, three. Okay, one, two, there, and one here, and then there's one over, where is it? It's not there. There's a, something's already there. So what, I don't know what went wrong there. Uh, I'm not gonna worry about it. We're just gonna move on. All right, we need to put one here. It's super easy to make a mistake on this, guys. It's super easy. Two here. So you really have to concentrate, which I'm not doing. I'm, ta I'm talking to you guys. Two here. Two here. You'll see the mistake before I see the mistake. Probably two, four, six. Then I need to go all the way across there. Okay, I got it. I got it. Where I, I use a four placer. I prefer it. Um, I can use larger, but. I'm not going to, not right now. Now there is, where did I go? Where did I go? Oh, see? Um, oh, where was I? Here. One, two, yeah, one here. Then I need to do one here. I messed up something here. Something's messed up here. Hold on. Oh boy. Okay. One. I need to um, move this pattern over here so I can count it. Okay. That's fun. Okay. And then we're over to one there. And I'm doing the right 
there. <laughs> what is going on here? I um yeah, I want it right now. Hold on. Yes. This is so confusing. Okay. So I did this one here. I need to do one here. One here. Okay. Oh my goodness. I, I would recommend you do, you got to be like in a super good mood to do this and super patient. Um, holy moly. Okay, that's there. I did those. Now we need to come over and do this one, this one, and this one. These three. Okay. It's like, it's enough to make your eyes go cross-eyed, really. We're doing it. I'm doing. I'm starting. I'm concentrating, guys. Do one there. Two here. Now I don't know what these two are here, but apparently I did not mark them off when I did them. But uh, I will. So let me see if I've done all of these that I need to do. I think I may be one more. I need to do here. One, two, one. I need to do one right there. And then when we go up here, I need to do two there. Okay. Phew, wee. <laughs> Goodness. You're like, what are you doing, Rebecca, besides phantom drilling here? Um, I am going back to my get your big on here. This is not my get your big on. It should be, right? Because it is a big on. <laughs> Okay, I got all those two empty spaces. I think I need one more. One more of this color. It goes right there, right? One right here. Okay, that's all open. All right, so <laughs> goodness gravy. All right, so I'm going to go up here. I'm not bringing it down. I'm going to mark all this off because I'm done with all of this. Oh my goodness. All those little targets I've done. Here. Okay, now I think I may just do some whip and chat while I'm working on this. But please, if you have questions, put them down. If you if I, if I'm doing something that you are questioning, let me know um, and in the comments, and I will answer them. You guys know I answer my comments. So let's see. That is five oh one that I need. Let's put this one back. So what's been going on with me? Oh boy. Last week they thought I had the virus. So, I mean, I woke up, well, I started with some GI symptoms that we won't go into any details over, but I was, uh, you know, pretty close to the bathroom for a few days, which I did not realize is one of the symptoms of this virus. But then I started running a fever now, I'm still working wow. in these two squares. Um, so they tested me because I'm a healthcare worker in my spare time. Yes. Um, all right, so we're here. I need those three right there. Um, so, and because I have the symptoms, whether I'm negative or positive, I can't go back to the hospital until I'm free. I've been free of any of the symptoms for seven days. So I'm going to be working from home. I can do my job at home, but what I do in healthcare, I can do at home. But what I was um, doing before was going into the hospital just to uh, help out in some other areas that you know weren't really my area of expertise, like the ER. I don't, I'm not, and never have been an ER nurse. When I practice nursing. I did neonatal intensive care. 
So, and for me to go back to neonatal intensive care now would just be insane because that field has changed so rapidly. I, I mean, I did it more than 20 years ago, probably more than 30 years ago. And everything has changed. I wouldn't know the first thing about the equipment that's in there now and the theories behind the treatments and I just wouldn't know. I wouldn't know the drugs. Um, so I'm fine just with what I do. Now what do I do? What do you do Rebecca? I do, I'm called a physician peer review coordinator. Now I'm done with this color. Let me mark it off. And check. Okay. I need to open it. That one didn't get checked. Let's go here. Let's do. Check. Three. Three ten. Oh boy, we get to do some three ten. Woohoo! All right, let me get my three ten out. Oh my gosh, this kit came with so much 310. I will never run out of 310. This is just one of several containers that I have of 310. Plus I have more bags that I didn't even bother to open. Talk about your 310 life. <laughs> and I just need a few of those, goodness. So what do I do? Physician peer review coordinator. What that is, is the risk manager, when they get a complaint about a doctor or a concern, and anybody can report to them. Now I'm in this square here. Anybody can report to them. Um, and it could be a resident, it could be a senior doctor, you know, whatever concern that they have. So the risk manager will forward that to me. Um, there's myself and another person that does it. And the areas that I take care of are any, uh, the surgical doctors, any of the cardiologists, any of, that's mostly what I do, surgery, cardiology. Oh, I do anesthesiology. Those three keep me pretty busy. Oh, I do OB, <laughs> well, I shouldn't forget. I do OB and peds as well. So any like maternity stuff that's, you know, maybe a woman has lost too much blood, that there could be a physician concern there. It usually isn't, but I have to make sure that it's not. So they'll send me that case and I will look at the medical record. I may ask the physician, hey, what happened here? Um, and if it's, if it ends up being like a big deal, then it has to go to a peer review committee and then it goes to the medical executive committee and, um, it can come, it can become a pretty big deal. Sometimes it might have even have to go to the state for review. Okay. That's all the three times I needed. Oh my goodness. Let me just put this up here. I'm going to go down to the bottom. Ah, I bet you there's more. There is in that square, right? below it. I'm just going to go ahead and do that square right below it. Like I'm just going to come down and do some 310 since I got it out. So I can do that from home and luckily during this period of time there hasn't been too many physician complaints. Thank God. <laughs> so this particular color I can actually bring all the way down in this square. Yay! This is starting to go a little faster than when I first started. I think also because I've done so many squares in the last few months that I'm getting way more comfortable multi-placing squares and, and just doing squares in general. Two here, one there, is that correct? 
Yep, that's correct. Two and one. There. So I just what I've done is I've just brought that 310 color down into the next square. Because I had the color out, I might as well just keep going with it. Right? Because switching colors all the time is kind of tedious. I'm going to go here. Now, I can't do this um, for a long period of time just because of this board that I'm working on. And I need to, like, fix this setup a little bit. Sorry, I'm drinking Dr. Pepper. I've already switched off from my coffee. I, I had my little chat this morning, my little live on Twitch. Oh my God, I love Twitch, guys. But you can't go back and see it. It doesn't record. It's just the live stream. So if you miss the live stream, you miss it. Sorry. It's Sunday mornings at 11. And I will probably, in the future, be working on this painting on Sunday mornings at 11 for the Twitch. Um, otherwise, during the week, I'm going to be working on like my Get Your Big On painting. Um, the mystery painting, you know, I'm almost done with that. I think J-Rob and I will probably be wrapping that up this week. In fact, I'm sure we will be wrapping it up this week. And it's the cutest painting. Oh my God, if you haven't seen it. It's so adorable. It's this silly looking horse. And I've fallen in love with the dang gum thing. It's so cute. It's not something I would have ever ordered for myself, but I love it. Okay, we need three drills. Look at me go, woohoo. <laughs> You're like, what? It's the little things, people, the little things. Okay, we got three there. I need to go one, two, three there. So, um, so my test came back negative. Uh, I do not have the virus, but I, like I said, I still can't go back to the hospital. But to, yesterday was like the first day I woke up and felt like, oh, I'm human again. Because I really felt like garbage the rest of the time. Let me just make sure I've got all these three tens here. One, two, I need one more there. And then I think I can mark them off after that. I'm thinking, I hope you guys can hear me okay. Yes, okay, good. Woohoo. I don't, you know, I don't want to refilm this. <laughs> all right, one more, one more right there. And then all of that will fill in later. Okay, we've done all of that. One, two, three, one, two, three. Okay, yeah. So I didn't go up and mark all this 310, but I finished it. Okay, okay. Are we good? And the thing about this um, pattern keeper is if you make a mistake, it's so cute. It has a little frog that comes out. You can frog your stitches if you mark the wrong stitches. It also sometimes hangs up. Come on. Like it just slow. That might be my computer too. I'm asking it to do too much. I don't know. Should we go in this pattern? Oh dear, we don't want to do that. Oh, we haven't done anything. Okay, let's go over here. Let's go over to down to this square. This square right here. Let's work on that for a little while. We're gonna work on this color right there. Come on. Okay, that color is 823. 
Alright, that's easy. Alright, this was five something. Five. Oh no, it's three ten. Three ten. Thank you for telling me. I can hear you. I can hear you guys going, oh, it's three ten, Rebecca. Now you need eight twenty-three. And boy, do I have 823. Same as the 310. Just drawers and drawers of it. I'm going to be exhausted tonight from working on this painting. <laughs> I kid you not, guys. All right, so I'm back. I'm over here on this square, and there's already something wonky that I see here. I'm not sure what happened here. Let's see. Okay, so this kind of kind of came out of place here. This goes over here. This goes here. Okay, there we go. The drills kind of, I might have bumped them or something. I don't know. So I picked the awkward square, didn't I? Hmm. That's okay. I can multi-place it though. Yay. Oh, my back is spasmy. Hmm. I mean, I'm out of shape. My Crazy, isn't it? I need to get into shape. All right, um, so I'm going to continue working on this 823 here. I can chat a little bit more. Let's see what else we're talking about. So we we're doing the DP got your big on. I'm doing it. Oh my gosh, there's like a hundred people doing this event. I am so excited that everybody has decided to get out their big paintings and paint. So this is um, one of my big paintings, but I, I didn't enter it into the DP Get Your Big On because I would never finish it by in two months. This is a very long-term project here. I figure out, this is probably going to be something that takes me couple of years I think and Lord don't anybody tell Diamond Art Club that I'm doing Hannah Lynn Cinderella because they'll come out with their own Hannah Lynn Cinderella <laughs> yeah that, that'd be my luck wouldn't it okay let's see we need to do four on the bottom I love these Archer's Art trays. Oh God, you know what else happened while I was sick? You know, when you're spending too much time in bed, I was spending way too much time shopping, you know, because uh, you can't go out to the stores right now. So I'm just laying in the bed shopping. And yeah, I bought some stuff <laughs> when it comes, and it, you know, it's gonna take forever for any of it to come in. I can just see it. When it starts to come in, I'm going to go, what in the world was I thinking when I bought this? But yeah, I've made a few purchases here and there in the last few days. I was on Instagram and I saw Diamond Junkie, um, you know, she said, help me choose my next painting. And there was a painting she had in there that oh, I just, just took my breath away. I just, you know, I loved it. And so she she put where she got it from off of AliExpress. So I well, woo, I gotta go find that. So forty five minutes later, I had purchased that painting. Yes, and I don't know when I'll get it. Thank God. I not only had I purchased that painting, but I purchased another painting as well. Yep, that's what happened. So I think I'm done with those there. That didn't go. Uh, that didn't take as long as I thought. No, this is this is moving right along here. I'm gonna drop down to the bottom, the square underneath it, because there are more of the same color here, right there. Oh boy, my back is just screaming at me. It's saying, "You're done, Rebecca. You're done with heaven and earth today." But I'm having fun now. I'm like, I feel like I'm on a roll, <laughs> you know? Okay, I need three for the next one.
So if you guys bought something um, and you want to confess, you know, leave that in a comment. I'd love to see. But don't tell me where you got it because, you know, then I'll be looking for it. My gosh. I, you know, I am so easily influenced um, and enabled. My goodness, yes. I see somebody with something and I'm like, oh, I like that. I want it. I just need to move this other square up here so I can work on it. Okay, three, four. Okay, so I'm going to put four right there. And three, I'm going to have three, four, three. Yep, just like kind of cross stitch, you gotta count. I think once I finish this square, I may be done with this for the day. <laughs> we shall see. One, two, three. I will put my progress on this uh, on Instagram. I haven't done that in a while. Uh, put up my hate progress on Instagram, so I might as well. Okay, oh, this is actually working out. I counted correctly, ladies and gentlemen. Woohoo! All right, and like I said, if you um, have a question about anything that you've seen me do here, please leave it in the comments, and um, I'll I'll probably answer your comment, but I will probably also do another video where um, maybe I can explain things a little better than I'm doing right now. Let's see, one, two, one. I need to put one right there. And then I think that is all for these two squares. Okay. All right, let's mark them off so we don't forget. Okay, guys, thanks for coming on this journey with me. I will see you in my...